It's not clickbait, and I have actually filmed this video four times now because stuff is changing so fast that I keep having to refilm this to get it all in there. Okay, so these changes coming are going to impact every single one of us. Artists, producers, mix engineers, mastering engineers, all of us. And I think it's really important that we are on top of this and that the correct information gets distributed so that way we can all shift with these crazy changes in the most efficient way possible and keep the music as high a quality as humanly possible. One year ago, I did my first video on Atmos at Sweetwater in Studio B. It was a mind-bending experience, a full-body immersive musical experience unlike anything I've ever had in my whole life, and it broke my brain. Now, in the time since I filmed that video, I've been watching this Atmos thing evolve. Cadillac, BMW, Mercedes, like all of these car companies are putting Atmos in their cars. My TV over here in the lounge has Atmos in it. When I hung the TV up, it said, we need to calibrate your room. And it goes, pew, 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 pew. and I hear it like do this all around me. Your sound bars, your Apple HomePods, the Apple AirPod Maxes, all, everything on Netflix, all mix in Atmos. And I've been watching this happen over the past year, wondering when the right time for me to jump was going to be. And if this was a fad or if this was going to be something that became the new standard. Now, at some point in January, a bunch of new car manufacturers announced that they would also be putting Atmos systems in their cars. And to me, that was like, okay, it's time to get on this train. So I sat down with my wife, January 28th, and I said, I think I need to put an Atmos rig in. Now this timeline gets crazy. I had this gut feeling, I said I think I need to go Atmos, and that gut feeling that I had has never misled me ever. So I started planning my rig, what was I actually gonna do? February 1st, it came out that you will no longer get playlisted on Apple Music unless you submit your music in Atmos. Now this is a huge deal for independent artists. We're gonna talk more about that in other videos, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell tab next to the subscribe tab because there's a lot that's going to change really fast for all of us. February 1st, we found out you would no longer get playlisted if you didn't submit in Atmos. February 4th, my first client requests everything we're doing in Atmos. February 6th, my second client requests it. And February 7th, my third client requested it. It just fell like dominoes instantly. Everyone, I need Atmos for all of my music right now. This is the situation I was trying to avoid. I wanted my rig in and to be ahead of this curve. I didn't want to have to farm out my Atmos mixing, which is currently what I'm actually doing. But then the question was, until Spotify responds to this, this is just an Apple Music thing. So how long will it be before Spotify responds to this? Because Apple Music and Spotify both have to be on board with this before it can become the actual standard for the music industry. Yesterday, it came out in an article that Spotify has an Atmos studio and they are building Atmos studios. That's it, That it's game over. Atmos is the standard moving forward. Now, I'm a little bit bummed about the technical side of it in terms of like the monetary investment that a lot of us are gonna have to do. We're gonna get into all of this stuff, so make sure you stay tuned and make sure you follow up on future videos because we're gonna do an entire Atmos series on everything of like, what is it, what's it mean, how to choose your rig, how to install it, how to tune the room, how mix best mix practices, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you subscribe because this is going to affect every single one of us. Now I can hear a whole bunch of you saying, well, how am I supposed to afford to put an Atmos rig in? And I feel you, and I'm going to do my very best throughout these videos to steer you in the right direction that will help you make the most of this whole thing, because I feel you, I really do. But what I can promise you is that it is the best way to listen to music, it is the best way to consume music, it's the most emotional way to consume music. We have endless creativity now. It is mind-bending how creative we now get to be. This is the biggest change in music Music since the invention of stereo. And after the weekend that I've had, which we're gonna get more into in a second, after the weekend that I've had, I have never in my life been more pumped 
and more inspired to create music. I've never been more excited for the future of music than I am right now, and it's because of the things that I learned and went over this weekend. I just got done doing a Atmos Masterclass with Mike Miller, who is arguably the very top Atmos mixer in the world at the moment. Uh, he does Harry Styles and like Lil Nas X and Macklemore and like his mixes are just mind-bendingly and he was just an open book and just gave us everything. The lineup in this class was crazy. I mean, Grammy winners and, and people with dozens and dozens of number ones. And together we all kind of created a way to move forward in this new world that's going to be game changing. And I'm really, really excited about it. So while I understand that some of you might be dreading this and I feel you because for literally months I was dreading it too. Dreading tearing my room apart, dreading the investment of a new system. I was dreading all of this, and now my perspective is completely switched, and I'm so pumped, so, so pumped for the future of music. I, I, I can't explain to you guys how excited I am. So I think the important thing, one, is that you want to future-proof yourself with doing as much in Atmos as you possibly can. If you're a serious artist releasing serious music, working on a serious career, or if you're producing producer or a mixer that works with artists that are very, very serious and like attempting to make a real career at this or have a real career at this, it's going to be really important for us to do everything in Atmos from here on out. And even if you don't have the ability to put your own rig in or it's going to take some time to save up or plan for it, make sure that you get the stuff mixed in Atmos. It's I do genuinely believe it's going to be the future. You want to future-proof yourself and uh, this is... This is a big, big deal. Okay, so Sweetwater just put a new Atmos rig in their Studio C that is gonna be really, really similar to what I'm going to put in here. So let's go to Sweetwater and let's take a look at that rig. Here we go. So I came here to Sweetwater because they just put this Atmos rig in here at Studio C and this is likely going to be very, very similar to what I'm going to put into my room and so since they just did this and since I work so closely with Sweetwater, I said, hey, can, can I come out and, and check that rig out before I go through all of this installing more or less this same rig in my room. So I'm gonna show you around the room here in a second, uh, but Sweetwater now has two Atmos rooms. They have this room, which is all Focal Solo 6s, and then they have another whole Atmos room in their Studio B. Both rooms sound incredible. So I'll put a link down below to the Sweetwater Studio website if you wanna come here, track your next record, uh, come here to mix your record in Atmos, or hire one of the people here to mix your music music in Atmos. You can find all that info in the link down below. And don't forget to hit them up on Instagram, the Sweetwater Studio Instagram. Let's take a look at this rig. Okay, so here is the rig right here. So basically what you've got is you've got a uh, right and a left, just like normal. And then Atmos adds the center channel and then adds height speakers on both on the front. And then you also get side speakers right here and then rear and rear and rear and also rear height speakers right up there. Now in this particular rig, you also have these width speakers here and here that just make things a little bit wider. And then also back in behind, you have two subwoofers. Now, like I said, this is likely going to be very similar to the rig that I'm gonna run. I'm probably going to run an Avid Matrix Studio with an HDX card uh, and Solo 6s. I will likely do Trio 11. Since I have Trio 11s for my left and my right, I will probably do another Trio 11 for the center. The entire rest of the rig will be all Solo 6s. That's what I'm thinking. So, so I'm going to take a listen here and get to know this rig while I'm here. Okay, so this is what the mixes look like in Atmos. So these are all objects and this is automation that's panning all of these things around as they're playing back. 
So right now, all of these things are objects that are panned in different locations around the room. And you can see stuff appear and disappear and move and, and automation will pan stuff like these right here. So that sound is panning from beside you to above you and vice versa. Super cool. These, these would be your height speakers. So this is your rear height speakers. These are your front height speakers. And then these would be objects that are all panned around you in surround sound. And you can pan anything in this 360 degree space. You can see those things are moving right now, which is, this is why I'm so excited about the creative side of this. I'm so, so, so excited to work in this environment and, and have the most creative freedom I've ever had in mixing. Oh, that's super dope. Wow. That delay guitar is just swirling all around me. That low it is. That low that low. So 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 yeah, there's bass oh. management on the... Well, this room sounds absolutely incredible. I'm, I'm really pumped. I'm really glad that I was able to come here and check this out for myself before committing to this rig. Uh, yeah, these Solo 6 monitors sound incredible. I'm really interested to see how they pair with my trios uh, for the whole Atmos system. And yeah, a few more pieces of the puzzle to figure out, you know, stands and mounting hardware and stuff like that. But I'm gonna, the whole next video in this Atmos series is gonna be going over what you need to look at when choosing your own Atmos rig. And I hope that it helps some of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.